Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gravity View custom content field. So the custom content field is really one of the most powerful features of Gravity View, and there's really a lot you can do with it. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of uh, some of the things that you can do uh, using the custom content field. So as you can see, I've got a view set up here, and uh, this is the single entry. Here it is on the front end. Um, I'm showing some events uh, for the holidays. Now, the first thing I want to do is change this address field. I've got the address field added here, um, as you can see here on my view. Um, but at the moment, it's displaying uh, on multiple lines, and I want it to display on a single line. So what I'm going to do is just remove that address field, and instead I'm going to insert a custom content field by clicking on the Add Field button and then just selecting custom content there at the top. So now to edit the custom content uh, field settings, I'll just click on the gear icon. And here is the custom content text editor. Uh, this allows you to add text, HTML, merge tags, and even short codes into your view for displaying on the front end. So here I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a merge tag I'm going to add the address merge tags and, and I'm going to add them all on a single line. So we'll start with the street address. We'll put a comma and a space. The next one will be the city. Put another comma. And then the final one will be the state slash province. Yeah. And um, yeah, maybe I'll add another one. Nope, you know, that's fine. Okay, perfect. So I'll click outside to save. I'll scroll up to update the view. And if I refresh it on the front end, there we go. As you can see, we've got the address, but now it's displaying on a single line instead of on multiple lines. So that is one simple use case for the custom content field. Um, but we'll go through a couple of other examples. So let me open the text editor again here. Um, so I'll just delete those merge tags, and we can also add HTML in here. So for example, if I wanted to add a heading here, I can just put an H3. You can see it auto-completes for me, which is quite nice. And then I'll add something like uh, learn more. Below that, I'm going to add a link to the event website uh, where they can go to find out more information. So I'll add an, an HTML anchor link here. And for the href property, I'm going to in, insert the website merge tag. So that'll, that'll actually dynamically pull the website URL uh, for that entry. And we'll close off the tag. And the link text can be something like uh, go to website. OK, so here we're actually combining HTML with a merge tag. Um, yeah, so that's that's really nice. So. Let's click outside to save, click update, refresh, and here we go. We've got the title, the H3, the learn more, and then we've got a link to go to website. So if we click on that, it takes us through to the event uh, website, as you can see. Okay, cool. So let's uh, go through another use case here. Um, so let's open the custom content text editor again. And this time I'm actually going to add a short code here, a gravity form short code to embed a booking form into the single entry. So I'll add it below our HTML here. Um, so I'll just type in the short code here, gravity forms and the ID of the form. And this is going to be our event booking form. Okay, so we've got that. Let's just click outside to save, scroll up and uh, refresh. And here we go. As you can see, we've got the single entry there. And then below, we've got our booking form, uh, which is a gravity forms form, obviously embedded in there using the, the gravity forms shortcode. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is changing the admin label. So if you have a custom content field, you'll see it just says custom content, and it's not really clear what it contains. Um, and if you have a lot of fields, this can get a little bit confusing. 
So if you wanna just change the admin label, you can just click into the field settings and here just enter your own uh, admin label. So for example, I'll put uh, booking form. And if I click outside, you'll see that that says booking form now. So now I know uh, what that actually is, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit more helpful. And we know that that's a custom content field because it contains those uh, little uh, triangular brackets there. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna show you one more use case. Um, I've got a, another view set up here with a custom content field. So if I click into the field settings, you can see the, uh, it only contains a single merge tag for the website field. Um, but another thing you can do with custom content is to embed video players and audio players and, um, and other things into the view, which is quite nice. WordPress by default handles embeds really well. Um, and this carries through to the custom content field. So I've got a website field there and that's actually a YouTube video link. Um, to get that to render as an embedded video player, all I need to do is just check this box that says render o embeds. And you can see I've done that already. So if we check this out on the front end, you can see that we've got our videos uh, displayed as, or embedded as actual video players here on the left. So we've got different categories and, and different tags. So yeah, this works with a bunch of different websites, including Vimeo and SoundCloud and lots of others. So yeah, this is another use case for the Gravity View custom content field. There's really a lot you can do with the custom content field, so feel free to play around. And if you have any questions, check out our documentation or contact our support team.